Hello and welcome to Edukimi's YouTube channel. My name is Harsh and in this video we shall discuss the feature news for today, 1st of April 2022. Today's feature news is on additive manufacturing technology and we will understand the national strategy for additive manufacturing, right, that the government of India, Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology has proposed lately. But before we begin, let me welcome all of you people on April Fool's Day, Amlan, Netra, Kriti, Bhavani, Ashish, uh, Hima, Vivek, welcome all of you. Hi Kanupriya, welcome back. Kim, happy birthday again. Yasha, welcome. And uh, thank you for providing these beautiful inputs and beautiful remarks. I'm really touched. Rulaoge kya? But uh, really, I, uh, you know, these are the kind of inputs that encourage anybody. Uh, instead of uh, being critical on one aspect, we can learn to be appreciative and then uh, provide these you know inputs alongside. So that is uh, something that uh, aids all of us to grow. So thank you very much for your inputs and uh, really appreciate this. Let's start this discussion as soon as possible right now. We'll understand the history of uh, April Fool's Day some other time. National strategy for additive manufacturing being uh, initiated by Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. We covered an update on this, but then we cover more aspects of that update in this feature news, right? So national strategy for additive manufacturing. See, this is a part of manufacturing potential of the country, although initiated by the Ministry of Electronics, M Ministry of Electronics and MEITY, Electronics and Information Technology. This is also a part of uh, Make in India. There's also a part of uh, uh, policy for uh, artificial intelligence devices being created in the country. And in the context of Shah Rukh Khan becoming uh, the teacher and making the education personalized, this is something that can actually make uh, the lives transformative in times to come. Although you would want me, but then uh, the world wants somebody else, right? The world wants uh, the stars to be around them, right? So uh, getting back to additive manufacturing, this uh, relates very much to make in India. As I mentioned, it relates to Atmanirvar Bharat, but making India is more fundamental, initiated in the year 2015. Is it true? 15. And then having three important components. Can you please mention each of them? Right. So one is employment. The second one is uh, manufacturing industry potential to rise to 25% of GDP. And the third one is uh, increase in manufacturing uh, percentage in the country in the proportion of 12 to 14 percent on on every annual rate this is what was intended we have not been able to create requisite number of jobs for the percentage of manufacturing and the percentage of growth but then additive manufacturing can add to that why because it is going to automate the processes we will be able to create what is required in due time for the whole world we will be able to do this with the help of technology with the help of patents now i am hinting at the right place right now all right but then to understand that in detail, we will understand each of the components here. What is additive manufacturing? What is 3D printing? How does it happen? What are the processes involved in this? And then uh, what is the government uh, strategy towards this? So let's begin this. What are the challenges? What are the limitations? What are the future possibilities? All right. So let's begin this. Now, let me start this with uh, explaining what is the process. See, India has got designers. Not just the designers who can uh, uh, you know, work in fashion designing field or clothes designing etc. But we also design uh, softwares, we also design gadgets, we also design the, uh, you know, the graphics. So this is where a software called as CAD, computer aided design plays a very important role. On computer, we can design the whole entity how it should look like. For example, if you want to design a nose or a, a limb or an ear it can be designed on the cad on computer aided design and this designing is working right now only at the software level this design is the prototype on the basis of which the device will create an, a real entity a tangible entity this is the first process designing it designing it can happen on the computers or it can happen through emulating the laser process if you have seen the doom 3 movie i relate to it the whole face of um, some you know some uh, European uh, important person it was emulated by Hrithik Roshan the whole 
face was copied and then it was 3D printed. I wonder if you have seen the movie. If you have, if you have seen, you could relate to it. Tom Cruise has done this before and then Indian movies also follow this. He did this in Mission Impossible and then uh, Doom made it possible again. Right? So, uh, 3D printing is the first, CAD design is the first stage and then when this file is created, it is created on software, the 3D model is not visible. The 3D model is made visible with the help of STL file, STL file. You don't need to have to remember all this, but then just to make, you know, there's a part of the policy that they explain this image. I've taken this image from the government's policy design. So just to know what are the processes. First, designing it in two dimensional space in a, in a computer, writing software on it. The second process is creating an STL file, which will make the image appear as a 3D model. So that is what it happens. That is what happens in STL file and the slicing software, a software is used to slice this in different fragments, right? Different layers. And this software is then put in the 3D printer. The 3D printer recognizes these slices. The first slice has to be blue in color. The second red in color. The third needs to be not a plastic, but a metal layer. The fourth needs to be refined very sharply, smoothly. So, this is the sizing, slicing software which tells what layers will contain what entity, right? And this is unique to every uh, printer, right? Every printer will have different qualities, 3D printers, just like there's a black and white printer and then there is a laser printer, then there are inkjet printers. Similarly, the printers will have a material. Oh, let me show you the printer then. See, this is how the printer looks like. Have a look. This is a printer which is 3D printing a, a, an entity, right? The base is hot and this has created a complete entity out of it, a ship, right? 3D printed. Have a look. The hot base on which the printing is happening right now. The printing process is fast. It is additive. It is not subtractive. That's the basic between additive and subtractive manufacturing. Subtractive is where the whole entity would have existed in the form of a cuboid and this cuboid would be cut in shape just like what carpenter does. But then in additive, we are adding layers to the product and the machine knows which layer has to be added and what has to be done, whether it has to be cuboidal or um, a cylinder shape or a rectangle shape. This the machine knows the refinement is known with the machine itself, right? So this is what is called as 3D manufacturing. And uh, after slicing, it is put inside the artificial, uh, uh, the manufacturing process, additive manufacturing, and this is how the 3D object is created. We have been able to create many types of 3D manufacturing pro prototypes and products. Not only these, uh, 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 the artificial uh, limbs, but also uh, so many, you know, manufacturing devices, inputs that could be used in industrial processes. And rather than going through a, a very cumbersome manufacturing process, this could be created through additive manufacturing with, with the lesser use of entities, lesser use of entities, faster automated process. Is this not automated? Yes, absolutely. But just that it is not subtracted, it is additive manufacturing, right? There have been homes which have been created in 3, with the help of 3D manufacturing. And though this home is not Indian, but then... Um, uh, homes in India, in Kerala, first additive manufacturing home was created within a very short period of time. So, the, the utility is multifaceted, right? There is a huge demand around the whole world. So, let's look at this. This image speaks of the publications in, in additive manufacturing that have come up around the world. 4,000 publications and 3,000 plus publications have happened in the year 2019 and 18. Imagine this. So, there is a huge demand. Why this publication? Why this research? Is because this holds the potential for the future. And that is the reason that India also has envisaged additive manufacturing to lay the foundation for manufacturing process in the country. Out of the $5 trillion economy that we are speaking of, $1 trillion has been attributed to additive manufacturing. Now, subtractive wala utna nahi hoga. Ab additive pe we are laying more focus. So, let us look at the government policy in the same regard. Okay? Okay. The key goals envisaged by the government are position India as a global hub for additive manufacturing development. So, 5% of global manufacturing to happen in the country and to preserve the intellectual property of the people who are into this business, right? If we don't preserve intellectual property, then people who are, you know, publishing these papers abroad, even if it comes into scientific process, they will not come to India for uh, you know, setting up an adaptive manufacturing plant in the country. So, we have to uh, save the intellectual property. So, relate to intellectual property debate uh, feature video if you want to know more. 
right uh, now uh, you know brief understanding was given in, in one of uh, you know forward pages it says that uh, emerging technologies such as internet of things big data artificial intelligence have already transformed major fields of uh, the economy and we are talking of industrial revolution 4.0 4.0 and this is where wherever we need manufacturing uh, you know entities why not put in the automated process automated process of additive manufacturing right subtractive also utilizes human power but then additive would utilize all automated parts the rapid transformation is being now noticed in manufacturing processes absolutely true i spoke about how china is using automated technologies remember that editorial china is not only auto automating these bigger industries but small industries as well not only the startups but the companies which have existed uh, for the last 50 years right and what it does is that it uh, uh, shifts priorities to sustainability sustainable industries right sustainability in payment sustainability in space see additive manufacturing works in a smaller space as well but if you have the you know uh, the the traditional uh, uh, assembly assembly lineups that is uh, very cost cumbersome it is space uh, consuming speed speed is something that we get agility for mass production supply chain resilience abhi you change the you change the cad design and the end result changes altogether completely but in case you want to do some, you know the conventional man, marketing and manufacturing it would take immense amount of finances to even change the setup the manufacturing capital industry setup the capital machines imagine that but here you only have to change the design and that changes the whole process this is what is reveling this is what is the most beautiful part about additive manufacturing now this process produce objects layer by layer layer and has potential to transform next generation manufacturing through expanding design freedom complete freedom of design abhi you know today we have one design of tata uh, toyota innova tomorrow we will have the next design third day we will have the third design but what happens in conventional industries is that the whole setup has to be changed the uh, entity in which the uh, bumpers have to be created wind shields have to be created the whole body structure chassis has to be created that structure needs to be changed and the old structure can only be replaced after it has yielded profits sustainable profits then so the whole you know Uh, the change in the technology the advancement in the era will happen only when the old one has delivered some results and right now this freedom of design right to make a newer product is given by additive manufacturing reducing time to market bringing production closer to demand people can do it by themselves right atal tinkering machine is being given additive manufacturing entity so that children can play around with this right so improving industrial sustainability see i have picked it up directly from the policy so nothing could be more authentic than what i am speaking of right now nothing these are the four five advantages that i am speaking of it is right from the policy so what else would you need what else anybody would need that is a big question so please remember this very very important additive manufacturing is ushering the world into industrial revolution 4 see iot big data artificial intelligence aided by manufacture uh, the uh, you know uh, additive manufacturing so this is what has been written and then some targets i'll speak about this later key goals uh, the principles to be used here are using higher grade industrial or uh, artificial intelligence uh, additive manufacturing technologies higher grade technologies long term economic viability these are the principles for governance of additive manufacturing sector right so adopt a higher grade industrial technology right not a low grade technology woh nahi raw material pe kaam nahi karna sir we have to work on uh, what is going to create a higher grade finished product, product then long term economic viability of the project has to be seen see all this relates to india's electronic policy also right electronic policy of being able to export 400 billion dollars create 400 billion dollars of electronic product and uh, export a substantial amount out of it long term technological leadership this is another part of it gaining confidence and trust uh, via the software utility and reliability and access what is it going to do imagine this market share of 5 5% of global market i had mentioned this india's artificial additive manufacturing proportion will be 5% of global market share right nearly uh, us 1 billion dollar to gdp by 2025 not only that 500 different products to be created right uh, 100 new startups 
this is what has been envisaged in this policy 10 new manufacturing uh, sectors to be uh, you know inputted 1 lakh skilled people awareness for these am products and uh, some technologies that are specific to india not only export specific but specific to india to increase domestic manufacturing and domestic demand as well so domestic market being accessed the foreign market being accessed uh, you know the new companies which are going to innovate the products creating employment in the country i will speak about the employment in, in a short while there are shortcomings in employment and creating awareness and amongst them is uh, uh, 10 existing and new manufacturing sectors right artificial limb cell centers simple yeah we don't have are we creating hearts but artificial intelligence aided with the uh, additive manufacturing can create artificial heart as well right so these are the potential that it holds right the strategy would address key sector technical challenges what are the challenges that for example properties of material surface finish of contoured surfaces see all the surfaces that we get as manufactured products they are not refined but additive manufacturing can actually aid this process and make the process more refined right even if it is not done through the process humans can later refine the product right the standards have to be built now this is a challenge we'll look into it accuracy all these are the things which artificial intelligence need to look at all right getting into getting into global market trends see the the total market distribution is such that usa occupies a huge chunk of market right market means those people who are sourcing the products or are utilizing the products and then comes european union countries 36 percent and european union 26 percent asia pacific includes asia australasia all of them amongst them the biggest player is china 50 percent of asia pacific market is with china 30 32 percent is with japan and in india india is three to five percent of the asian chunk only we want a five percent of the global chunk my dear friends so for that we will need to have a better regimen better imports better intellectual property better scope for research and development in additive manufacturing this is what is required in the country are ushering in a revolution for international industrial level revolution 4.0 this is what is required right so presently uh, the demand business wise market distribution additive printers the demand is so there, there are four entities which are in demand printers material software and services see printer are the physical devices which we use for manufacturing right material are the additive manufacturing material they use plastic they use metals they use soft rubber they are glasses which are used in additive manufacturing i don't know how but then it is also used so that material also is in demand and then we have software and services we are already creating fabrication units no and we are also and before creating of uh, creation of fabric fabrication units we have also participated in designing of chips designing chips those which work at the level of nano and micro and, uh, and uh, meso levels why cannot we get into the the uh, the designing of uh, additive manufacturing this is absolutely something that the indian engineers and uh, scientists can do and that is why india is focusing more on this right global spending on am in 2019 was 13 14 billion dollar growing at 25 percent per annum spending in additive manufacturing is only increasing why because people see a profit in this people see more productivity industries will be helped uh, items will be created faster than before items can be personalized items can be created by the person who is demanding the item themselves the industries don't have to create a complete supply chain for this so many many advantages in and the and there's more efficiency in creation because this is additive this is not subtractive technology this is the kind of uh, market size it is only growing with time but see uh, uh, the the major market and uh, uh, demand is from america from european countries somewhere in australia and the demand in countries like asia and china is uh, india and china it is only less right now see this is the situation right now but with with better intellectual property with better scientific engagement but better research and development better investments this can also grow in a country like india that is why india looks at a model where india can spend more right spend more and uh, gain more of these artificial intelligence technologies right so moving ahead to some of the uh, challenges and advantages of this technology let's get back so 
METI's national strategy on additive manufacturing, right? Here they explain the whole way in which the uh, 3D printing process happens through CAD, CAD, and after that, um, uh, you know, converting it into a particular stage file, STL file. I've explained here also. After that, this STL file into a slice driven model, then injected into a 3D printer, the whole software, and after that, this material is created, right? So plastics, biomaterials, metals, ceramics, all are the raw materials that are used in this process and um, this can later create the product. See, it can be used in many, many ways. I, I remember having asked you a question previously on where it can be used. Healthcare, implants, artificial limbs creation, all of them, dental crowning, surgical models, surgical instruments, all of them can be created. Forceps, test tubes, scalpel, all of them can be created. Electronics. Oh, right from the manufacturing of a chip to the manufacturing of a complete entity a complete solid entity this can do all of it right so wearable devices soft robots yesterday we spoke of the um, what no the uh, the roach what is that roach the uh, yeah the, the entity that was uh, 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 a bot which was detecting you know human uh, in the in the uh, in those places which which have you know uh, rubles and uh, there is after effect of a or aftermath of a disaster right those places so automotive they can be used to create many many engine machine parts they can be used to create the complete entity in itself additive manufacturing aerospace and defense there are complete research papers happening in how aerospace and defense industry can utilize additive manufacturing consumer goods see aerospace and defense why here because this is a matter of precision aerospace and defense requires higher precision and additive manufacturing aided through softwares can actually devise those entities which can be created for high precision work high precision work right not a small degree of error so aerospace defense uh, healthcare products can be easily designed consumer goods absolutely true right so anything when high entity products can be created shoes furniture food products what is the cost of it right they can easily be pr uh, produced so advantages advantages see this is what are the major things that you should remember everything else to uh, you know create an effect around what you know but then this is what you will be putting in the answers freedom of design easy replacement of parts minimum wastage of material drastically reducing the lead time for prototype manufacturing not only for prototype the actual manufacturing also lead time gets reduced putting the market closer to the person who is using the product the person who is using the product can can own the art can own the additive manufacturing machine itself the 3d printer by themselves all of them indicating the same thing easy fabrication possibly integrating lightweight with uh, with lot of strength because the material changes here that's why the issues once we put in the automated technologies artificial intelligence human effort reduces but human job human employment also reduces with time right so this is a major uh, challenge right now we are importing a lot of entities to be able to create this technology in the country so high cost of import right now high cost of tools right now technology intensive as i mentioned we will need more skilled laborers the job the people who can work at uh, low skilled employment they will no more be required right uh, they use whatever entities they use it could be polluting as well right and uh, scaling up is one challenge that is required right so these are some of the disadvantages let us understand some more challenges in this process all right some more challenges some more challenges here are importing of the inter industrial use material right now right now we are importing the industrial use material right now we are importing the technologies we are also dependent on the intellectual property rights ipr right so uh, is india one of the countries which is favoring lack of formal additive manufacturing standards so this is the fear right we you come to india there are no standards you will be able to just like yesterday's battery manufacturing of battery since we don't have standards it's getting busted right uh, there are fires happening similarly if there are no standards here then uh, you know we don't have a quality check here right and um, right now it is being led only by original and equipment manufacturer oems the people who establish manufacturing of parts they are the one who are leading this industry we require it to be more diverse questions please ask right liability right now conventional liability we know consumer who is the liability if i am consuming a product if i am consuming 
uh, a keyboard here the liability is that of logic company right if the product is not working but what about the product if i have created it by myself what who's the liable who's holding the liability right now there's less clarity so we need a clear policy not only a policy on increasing manufacturing in the country but a policy around liability around intellectual property protection around market transition right around uh, uh, having declared the additive manufacturing standards in the country this is what is required right legal and ethical issues right bioprinting of organs right so these are the issues that are that need to be addressed along with that um, performance so far you people have seen that uh, india is one not one of the countries which is uh, in high demand us is in high demand european western european countries in asia china is in demand and then comes uh, uh, then then come countries like japan Japan, South Korea, then ASEAN, Australia is even further less and India even further less, right? Although we are possibly getting to the size that we will be the largest country in the world, but then uh, the, the share of uh, India in additive manufacturing is the dismal. It is 3.5% of 28%. So, 5%, 5, 3 or 15, 1.5% of, of the global manufacturing right now is with India. And what we want is 5% of this market. And this is an emerging market. It doesn't belong to anybody right now. It belongs to the person or that country which is uh, putting in the best. But then is it not an ecosystem? If manufacturing is a challenge for us, additive manufacturing will add to, add to the headache. Right? So the challenges in manufacturing will be the challenges. Mm, sort of. Sort of challenges for additive manufacturing always, uh, as well. Right? So for manufacturing also, what do we do? We, we, what do we manufacture or create? We create the raw material and then we export them, we import the finished product. Additive manufacturing also, what is required is to have uh, the high-end product, right? To have market sustainability, to increase the intellectual property. I keep mentioning this word because this is very much important. And once we have, once we own the intellectual property or once, once we share it or product anybody else's IPR, then industries will start pouring in our country for creation of these entities, right? Valued at $7 billion in 2007, the industry is growing rapidly and growing at the rate of 25% per year. Valued at $35 billion by 2023. Bus, one year to come. This is the this is the you know growth of this industry. So need for developing is the you know possibilities that it has. Need for developing a AM in India is because it will spur an industrial revolution. It will have better manufacturing potential of the country. We will become the export hub for the world. We will create innovative devices, right? <sighs> there is so much scope, automotive, aerospace, defense, consumer, electronic, healthcare, everything will get created with the help of CAD CAM designs and then additive manufacturing technologies. The user has the complete liberty to design whatever product they want to. So the product will be independent of the uh, the printer, the printer can design any entity provided we have its uh, design, CAD design. And we once put in the CAD design, the entity is created for us. So the design will be, the entity created will be dependent on what the user want, it wants. It is not, it is not going to be created with, you know, uh, with, with the, the producer in mind, but the consumer in mind, uh, consumer centric industry. So yes, robo roach, that is the word, under debris, absolutely. Thank you, you people remember this, good memory. Hi Niranjan, good evening. Oh yes, wrong heading. Thank you Bhavani, I will get this corrected. Thank you. Now, uh, this is what this additive manufacturing is about. So what you got to remember here are quite a few things, not much, but just, you know, seven, eight important things to be remembered. Additive manufacturing. So what is the context in, in which India is participating in this? India wants to become one of the leaders, exporters and the creator of this technology, $1 billion of the product uh, and 5% uh, of the total manufacturing potential of the whole world. This is one and protection of intellectual property. This is the context in which India is operating, right? What does India want to do? So, uh, the prime focus, the focus is on six themes, creation of uh, uh, 500 uh, products, 500 products for uh, export, 
50 India specific products, along with that 100 startups, along with that uh, I think 1 or 10 lakh jobs. So these are the 4 entities that I have spoken of, there are 2 more entities, this is the prime focus of the country. Along with that, what are the what are the um, uh, value chain? What is the value chain of additive manufacturing? Do remember that, right? In one sentence, you should be able to speak about the value chain. For example, first of all, design it and then you convert it into a file and 3D file and then you layer it, layering of the thing and then you put it inside the machine. So this is the process and then after that it gets printed. So this is the value chain of additive manufacturing. We discussed that. You should remember this in a, a sentence. And then after that, uh, uh, what are the advantages of this? What is the side effect or what are the issues of additive manufacturing? In advantages, you should also be able to apply it into various industries, the five industries that we discussed. The challenges and the shortcomings along with the potential it holds or the global spending, the intellectual property. This is what we study today. This is what you need to remember. If you can do this, if you can do this, you can put this as a part of uh, paper two governance right uh, spurring a complete manufacturing potential in the country you can put this as a part of economy you can also use excerpts of this in ethics ethics of additive manufacturing so multiple ways you can also look at it from the perspective of uh, society right as i as i said to you additive manufacturing in times to come you know it will aid the presence of uh, even film stars teaching you right in in consonance with artificial intelligence in consonance with the uh, uh, you know entities like uh, 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 artificial intelligence and uh, uh, what's that the internet of things all of them utilized together will be able to personalize everything for the consumers right so you can use them in all the papers provided you are completely aware of the situation right so expand your minds try drawing this image try this one try drawing this image and looking and, and, and you know and along this image shortcomings put four or five points that are mentioned here or whatever you remember put five points of uh, you know positivities here if you put this in this format rather than the format in which you 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 you're writing sentence by sentence or you know phrase by phrase this is more creative this is easier to remember right you will guess lesser lost in this as compared to writing completely on the piece of paper it will be just like you know a text written in your hands so try this uh, maybe a web diagram spider diagram whatever you call it or a flow chart of it right and then creating sub sub smaller headings or giving examples at the end try this for a couple of articles maybe it helps you more than uh, uh, you know the one the other one this will also aid you indirectly because you will be only writing in small phrases two words three words rather than writing the whole sentence so it reduces the number of words you use right so try this today is friday we will meet you on monday evening and uh, with a set of uh, articles to discuss in current affairs meanwhile you have questions you have any doubts you want to give any suggestion everything is welcome facing the challenge most welcome to write your comment we will get back to you right Hima says, sir, I read in one report where World Economic Forum estimates that by 2025, technology will create at least 12 million more jobs than it destroys. So net is positive. But will it be more beneficial for developing countries like India where low skill jobs yes, are prominent or in developed countries or China where they focus more on vocational training and skill laborers? Have a look. completely agree with you one lakh new skilled manpower this is going to create manpower here but then on the other hand have a look at this part i like the analysis that you people do it is very very good the disadvantage is technology intensive needs skill labor the people who are semi-skilled or, or unskilled, that laborer will no more be of any use because the manufacturing is getting automated. Automated manufacturing will have two ways of manufacturing, additive and subtractive both. Subtractive and additive both. But then this, this, this is a When we are speaking of additive manufacturing, additive manufacturing cannot be done at a manual level. Subtractive can even be done. Carpenter working, cutting the edges, right? 
but then additive cannot be done at the level we can't be you know pasting one entity to the other it's very tough right it happens in industrial processes right there are many bridges many uh, tunnels which are created through additive manufacturing for example um, the creation of uh, additive manufacturing and help of you know assimilating products through manual help for example delhi metro itself right the tunnels the pieces of tunnels they are you know they they put in uh, the whole tunnel area right and the entities are created uh, the covid uh, hospitals in china they were additive manufacturing and with the help of with the help of human labor as well but then this semi skilled and uh, unskilled laborer will not be as much required because a lot of process here possibly the whole process will get automated here right so uh, you are absolutely correct while you mentioned that india needs skilled laborers for this right we need high skilled people semi skilled people won't do we will see if you look at the whole process apart from marketing apart from marketing these entities which will also be self marketed by the way because people will want to have these entities which can create products now for them i will want to create pen i will want to create uh, um, uh, a mouse i want to create uh, everything for myself and my home own home so apart from marketing what we need is uh, the 3d model who will create it designer designer can they be unskilled no they have to be uh, highly skilled highly skilled profession right what about uh, the creation of the machine that is going to use uh, for artificial intelligence uh, for additive manufacturing again this has, this is a, this machine also has to be created through people who are skilled so when you see the processes that this completely involve involve the skilled laborers we do not need we will no more need those laborers who are merely segregating the hay out of the uh, out of the finished product right unlike agriculture where we need it uh, through manual uh, separation we will never need uh, those people who are weaving the carpets anymore it will be done by machines right high end target targeted machines so uh, that is where we need people who are uh, more skilled right so effectively it is going to create more jobs or not see this is where the solution lies in speaking of a, a bigger wisdom a wider wisdom here you could say you could say that uh, instead of vertically moving ahead with technologies which are reducing human labor and effort why cannot we create more diversified products horizontal expansion of technology so with this we will create more jobs in horizontal spaces also right for example try diversifying the product base then we will have more labor participate in various products if we have only pen manufacturing everything gets automated and we will not have uh, you know human labor involvement at, at, at all if we have only vertical you know engagements in artificial intelligence or additive manufacturing this is going to be counterproductive for uh, human labor but if we diversify there will be still more jobs right so this is the middle path you can adopt right so beautiful question asked and uh, very well thought of so a lot of discuss discussions happened this discussion will be enriching provided you revise it and maybe couple of months of such discussion it leads us to a different level altogether for each of the papers paper 1 2 3 4 you people are at a level i can see that uh, level of confidence in you people however what is required uh, is uh, to to make it sustainable to make it uh, you know happen at at uh, every interval you keep on doing this keep on we are what we consume that is as simple as that right uh, it has been spoken by many thinkers many seers philosophers um uh, it is also one of the principles of uh, healing uh, ayurveda naturopathy we become what we consume so uh, be careful of what you consume and and be careful of what is getting out of your brain something needs to you know be stored so keep revising that's very important that is what saturdays are for we meet monday and when we meet on monday we discuss issues of uh, the friday later half saturday and whatever else is you know spilling over on sunday we discuss that on monday as well and throughout the whole week we discuss those issues again but point being that are you utilizing that small gap to be able to revise the content or are you only taking in a lot of data and not being able to process it so that time gap is required to cool down to process so that we 
start the process again for the next week because we don't stop we only continue keep continuing discussing and there's never an end to it but then there is an end to the journey of preparation that's absolutely true and to end this journey you will have to revise it that's what i keep telling you all the time you revise it revise it and it i have seen that change in your people so keep revising and keep adding all the you know inputs right we discussed sri lanka in details we understood coral reefs today we understood about uh, the medical ethics here we understood about uh, the armed forces special pass act we understood a little about uh, uh, the uh, you know the charak code so there are so many things that we studied we understood quite a few opinions on uh, the criminal amendment bill and uh, the sri lanka so point i am mentioning is only if you revise and this is only today we did something similar yesterday also so point being you got to revise please revise this is the tedious the one of the toughest part to revise it is like itching the whole mind but then it's the most fruitful thing to do right so if you do that uh, you will see wonderful things happening and you can see that to yourselves in the chats right so i would urge you who else would you know talk about this uh, people pay for you know these services for example one test you write uh, a test series what what is the cost in the market maybe 15 16000 rupees main test series main exam test series and there would be 16 tests maybe say example so 1000 rupees for a test for uh, you know 20 tests 20 questions in the test keep on this is important that you receive an input but it's important that you attempt say 16 17 18 questions and for you to do that you have to be in rigor of doing this so a test series will be useful for a person whatever you pay wherever you pay it will be useful for a person only when you know some content and you are in the habit in which you can quickly write uh, uh, 16 17 or 18 answers that will happen through this through this so uh, i remember having you know some expert teachers saying that there are various processes process of input and before inputting the data there is a process of uh, assimilating the content right having it at one place and there is a process of segregating the content and there is also a process of uh, uh, spotting the content so we spot articles for you we segregate the articles we assimilate it at a place we also explain it to you see so many processes simplified for you but when this comes as input it is your part to revise it is your part to create notes and this is what results in uh, a success success in the examination so when we reduce this labor no amount of additive manufacturing no amount of artificial intelligence can help you revise or uh, uh, jot down notes that is your part to do even if you have bots robots doing this for you they can't be helping in the examination so i hope that this is only in an encouraging thought for you all all the best i can only see wonderful changes right so good night and i will see you all monday right but then revision is must all right ashish amlan bhavani netra hima kriti kanupriya amlan vivek yasha all of you good night and um, do re do revise the content that's the only thing to say all right good night questions for all the people in offline chats uh, please put them down the suggestions inputs any topic you don't understand please put it down we will get back to you thank you for participation good night